It's a four and a half litre blower, 1931. Why'd they call them blowers? Maybe because of the whacking great supercharger sticking out the front of it. Maybe for the way you blow pushing it anywhere. The thing's a wee bit heavy. Now, I couldn't make heads or tails of what it was doing out there till the mechanics told me. These things were designed and built in the UK, but the engine was from America. Did you know that? Is it learning fun? So, I looked this thing up, read all about it, built in 1993, but for straight line speed, it'll match most supercars on the road today. Speaking of which, you want to do the honours? So, I did some research. Apparently, this used to be owned by a very wealthy local with a habit of misplacing items. It was this habit that led to this poor E-type being left in a barn after the keys for it were lost. Instead of trying to find the keys, he just bought another. So the head gasket was blown and the engine block was warped, but she's running nicely now. What do you say? Shall we get out there? Some of my friends drive Porsches, but none of my friends drive Lego Porsches. Except you, I mean. Here's the keys. See, these were built as GT races, but you could convert them to a road spec if you pass the special vehicle approval test. I guess this one never did. Lucky for us here at Horizon, we're exempt. Had a word with a mechanic. He thinks, thinks, mind, someone was trying to build a hill climb car out of it, cut out the wheel arches, got the engine bay ready for a V8, then gave up, I suppose. Oh well, their loss is our gain. Look, enjoy, but be careful, eh? Last owner must have got a bit excited on a corner. Tore off the whole rear wheel and suspension. I very kindly put them back on for you. Well, as an aeroplane, the Spitfire may have won the war, but as a car, it made it worth living in peacetime. Off you go and get the wind in your hair. I'll be right behind you. See that engine? 7.7 .7 litres, 12 cylinders, maybe a thousand horsepower. I feel like I've just found a decommissioned nuclear warhead in an old shed. Take it, but just be careful with it, yeah? <laughs> 